Today we're going to see what we can do out here at Kharikwa Reserve. I think we're going to get the bicycles out, we're going to go for a cycle around. It's beautiful. The sea is just, oh, so good to be by the sea. You know, after spending so much time up in the mountains, it's really, really nice to see the sea. It's completely different. So, I'm all ready to cycle, but the past two times I've actually used my bike, the rear tire is completely flat. I've spun it around a couple times and I just don't see anything obvious. So, I don't know. I do have a spare tube and I do have a spare tire. I picked them up when we were in Peter Maritzburg. What I'll do is I'll just pump it up today, use it and then when I come back, um, I'll try and maybe get it in some soapy water or whatever and see if I can maybe find a more obvious sign of a puncture or whatever. But for now, air compressor works like a beauty. After spending all day behind the wheel of the Hilux yesterday, it was great to get out on the bike and take in the lovely scenery of the Kharikwa Reserve. It's an awesome place with cottages all along the coastline and well worth a visit if you're looking for a coastal break near Mossel Bay. We made it to the lighthouse. It's pretty cool. We were just using it as a carrot on a stick just for having a little bit of an explore. That was uh, 3.8 k's. Not too bad. 40 minutes. Not very fast. <laughs> uh. But I managed to do a good amount of cycling. Every time I've cycled, I've managed to go just a little bit more, just improve a little bit every day, you know. And I've noticed that also that by doing the cycling, it's helped with the hiking and everything as well. So it's had a nice good compounding effect of just making everything generally a little bit more pleasant and making myself a little bit more capable. But we're going to find a couple other little tracks. We saw one leading down to a viewpoint down by the sea. So let's go and see the water. Being out here by the ocean was a serious juxtaposition to where we were in Hamkerskloof under 24 hours ago. And we stumbled across these beautiful little strange plants all along our cycle. And I was amazed by how they just popped out of the ground in the most peculiar way. I must say though, Breathing in that fresh ocean breeze just does something for the soul. Eight and a half k's, not too bad, not too bad. Um, look, let me get myself sorted here. I'll meet you guys inside and we can start today's episode where I'm gonna be having a look at some things that kind of really stood out on the trip that are not like big items. And I'm just gonna kind of walk you through some of those. Anyways, be with you shortly. I'm going to walk you through some of the unsung heroes of an overlanding trip and of an adventure trip. Let's start with something really small, the Garmin InReach Mini. We've had to use this about twice this trip to actually communicate with people via satellite, even in places where you wouldn't think that there wasn't signal. But sometimes that's all you need. You just need to send someone a message and just to communicate and maybe plan something or set it up. When the front stabilizer bar on the Hilux broke and we had to stop in Howick, the campsite we were at had no signal. So it was one of those things where having this with us, I could connect it up to my cell phone and I could send texts to people to try and arrange and plan and sort things out. And then by the time I arrived in Peter Maritzburg at Safari Co, they were ready and they were expecting me because of this. You can also use this when we go hiking. I gave this to Andy when he did the Rhino Peak hike in the Drakensberg. I gave this to him, I said, keep this in your backpack. If you need to get in touch with me and you don't have any signal, you can switch it on and you can contact me or we can SOS or whatever. It's just great to have like that. So for me personally, I found having the InReach Mini around, it's just like this, weight lifted off your shoulder in these very often very tricky and uncomfortable situations. You're out in the middle of nowhere, something goes wrong, and all you need to do is just ask a simple question. Well, you can. I can SMS anybody on my cell phone list through the satellite. You obviously get charged depending on whatever plan you have. If you've got the maximum plan, you can text as much as you want. My one, I, I don't know, I 
think I pay about 290 Rand a month or something like that. And then I pay extra past my set limit of free SMSs. But it works like a charm, it really, really does. Um, going hand in hand with that in terms of the Garmin stuff, always the Garmin Overlander is just a champion. The amount of time we have spent out of signal, out of range of everywhere, we at campsites that are tricky to find, you know, because the Overlander is loaded up with all the campsites and stuff in it, I can actually go there. I've managed to find every single campsite and every time they've said, oh no, don't trust the GPS. It doesn't take you to the right place. It's taken us straight to the door. It's actually been incredible on this trip. We're actually tracking the whole trip at the moment. And you can see here, we've done 2,738 kilometers. We've been traveling for 364 hours. Um, and our total average speed is only 7.5 kilometers an hour. And yeah, so it's actually, it's very interesting. I'm gonna track this all the way until I get home. I save that file and it gives me a recording of my entire trip, all the little places we went, everything with all that information as well. So I must say this has been incredible. You can also connect up your InReach Mini with the Overlander and you can send your text and your stuff from here. There's a lot of functionality out of it and I've really, really enjoyed it. And it's just, it's been so reliable. We've been in, in massive heat. It doesn't overheat or switch off in the car because of the military grade construction. So it's handled all that. We've been through all the dust, everything. It still looks brand new. So it's really, really built tough. Another one that was a real surprise for me that came in handy this trip was the National Lunar 5 Amp Charger. It's a smart charger. You plug it in to your wall. Normally you use this at home to do battery maintenance. You leave it there, it smart charges your battery and kind of brings it back to life. I normally have it plugged into my National Lunar Green Box and then if I get to a campsite, I can just plug this in and it keeps my fridge running, it keeps my whole National Lunar system charged up that, in that dual battery system. But with these little adapters that kind of plug on here, this comes with the kit, I've got these crocodile clamps. When we were in Baloch, I started the car in the morning and for some reason the battery was completely dead. I managed to plug this into the Jackery and actually charge up the battery. We went for a walk for an hour, we came back, boom, fired the car up. Now, that is awesome. But I also used this, same thing, through the Jackery, had the Jackery connected up to a solar panel, and I could charge the caravan from this. So I could charge up the caravan's battery as well. As long as you've got access to the battery terminals, you can charge up any battery with that. So this was something that was like, I always just bring along just in case we get to a campsite and there's shore power and I can plug in. But I didn't think of the fact that I could take solar power, run it through a generator like the Jackery, and then use this to charge a battery, which means you have power anywhere, always, as long as there's sunlight. So that was actually really, really nice. And it was something that honestly, this is now even moved up onto a higher position of like, this is something everyone should have because you should, when you get back from your trips, take your battery out and connect it up to this so that your battery sits there being smart charged so that it's ready to go. It improves the longevity of your batteries dramatically. But even just having this when you are on your trips as well, it was amazing to see how versatile it was and how I managed to use that. Then obviously we've got to talk about the Jackery. This is something you guys have seen in a lot of my videos recently. I have an affiliation with Jackery. They sent me this unit to test out. They sent me the solar panel to test out. And I also have discount codes for buying these on their website. And I do earn a small commission from that. But with all of that being said, I have been so stoked with this thing. So, so stoked. I love being able to see the input and the output on the screen here. So when I'm charging via the solar panel, I can actually see the wattage it's putting into the battery. And then when I'm running it, I can see the wattage coming out. So if I'm running the laptop, which I've, this thing has never died on this entire trip. We've been traveling for 14 days. I'm either charging it off of the National Lunar Green Box or I'm charging it off of solar. I don't actually even think it's dipped below 60%. So this one is the 500 Explorer. So it's a 500 watt battery setup. Now the way it works, it uses a 16 to, to 12 volt range um, and it uses a lower amp hour. So the way power is obviously worked out is voltage times amperage. It's not a very high amp hour battery, but it's a high voltage battery. And that is how things work. Things can change when you're in the lithium space like that. So what's nice with this is because it works in that 16 to 12 volt, the other power pack that I was using was like 12 point something to like 10 volts 
which meant that if you're running your fridge from it, the, the battery would be at half power and you wouldn't have the voltage to run your fridge and your stuff like that. You'd have to run the inverter. Whereas with this, you can run off your DC power completely until this thing's flat if you want. We've been using the USB chargers. Every single day we use the USB chargers. Every single day I use the AC charger. I'm charging my camera batteries. We are charging up other batteries. We're doing all sorts of stuff. I've plugged the uh, little adapter in here into a power brick and we can charge a multitude of things from that. So every single day we've been using the solar panel and I love the solar panel. It's really, really nice. It's super easy to set up and it, and it pumps. It works really, really well. I've been so happy with it and I've been really, I think the value for money of the Jackery kit with the solar panel is absolutely incredible. So it is one of those things like, and that's deeply from inside my heart. I've really been loving it. I love that all the stuff is on the front. So I put it in my little set up there in my cupboard in the canopy and I've got access to everything. I open up that cupboard, it's all right there. So it's been really, really nice and I've really enjoyed it. If you guys are looking for a portable power pack setup and a solar panel and stuff like that, I highly recommend checking out Jackery South Africa and you can use the code ROAM5 to get a 5% discount off of your purchase. So you'll be supporting the show at the same time as actually getting yourself a really awesome product. Also, I mean, I've been using, we've been using it every single day no scratches, no bumps, no nicks, no nothing. It's actually built really well. It's a nice solid handle, weighs about six kilos. You've got an extra little torch on here if you want. Never used that before. Um, these little flaps on here don't always hold in perfectly, but the way it works is incredible. Just a quick little thing, 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. So running my brand new laptop off of that, I'm totally comfortable, I'm totally happy with that. Now, another thing in terms of versatility, we've been doing a lot of activities on this trip. We've been doing cycling, we've been doing hiking, we've been just going for little walks here and there and doing all sorts of stuff. So this backpack has been great for that. This is the Flint 25 from First Ascent. It's just a little day pack. I've put a three liter water bladder in here, which actually has a nice little magnet on the strap here. You bite, you drink, it works well. It started out with a bit of a plasticky taste and just the more I use it, it's getting better and better the more times water goes through. You've also got your little tabs here for your trekking poles. Then you've got a front pouch and then the main pouch where the water bladder is. I managed to fit my down jacket in there. I managed to fit a raincoat in there and my camera. So it's really nice when we go cycling, put the camera in there, cycle. You can see I got my little tripod on the side. Stop, take out the camera, set it up, film some stuff. And it actually has been working really, really nicely. And I mean, I'll have this lying here on the desk and I'll just drink from the hydration pack as well. So I, just in terms of that, I foresee this having a lot of function in my life going forward. You've got little sections here if you need to tie stuff on, some webbing straps and stuff like that as well. I've been really, really happy with it so far. I was never really a backpack kind of person and actually I quite like it. So it's, I just thought that was something that kind of stood out for me in this, in this past trip, you know, just a few little things. It's not a lot of stuff. There is one more thing I just need to, actually there's two more things. I, want, I need to get one from the car. The other one is actually here hiding behind me. This, this is my best. This thing is my absolute best. This is a down blanket from First Ascent. If you're not familiar how like the camping down blankets work, it's just little quilted sections of down. Now that I've been using it every day, it's poofed itself back beautifully. This I used every single night in the caravan. I use this when I stay in the, in the tent. I'm using it here in the B&B. I just love that cool kind of down feeling on my skin at night. It doesn't get all like clammy and hot. I can move it around, it's light, it's just, it's warm, it's just everything. It's, I, I dig it. I really, really dig it. This, you will not find me camping without this thing. It's perfect for, I'd say, one person. It's not big enough for two people and they're not cheap. I bought that one myself. I think it was two and a half thousand rand. It was really expensive, but it's just amazing. And what's nice with it, because of the, the down fabric and stuff like that, it doesn't hold on to dirt. It doesn't hold on to dust and stuff like that. So even if you use it when you're around the campfire at night or whatever, on those really chilly winter evenings, you can just dust it off and you're good to go. So that's been really nice. I'm gonna be back now. I'm just gonna grab something from the vehicle quick. Another little thing that I've recently been using that's just kind of like blown my mind at how versatile it has been. So something else that I grabbed from the car is this little thing. Now, 
This I got from Craig at Safari Co when they were fixing the Hilux. Him and his wife make these and actually this one matches the interior of my vehicle perfectly. This goes over your gear stick and then this hangs on the side as a little bin. And as you can see, it has been well used. It has completely changed the interior of my vehicle because usually I've just got little bits of paper and chip packets and things like that lying everywhere after a long road trip. And it's all gone in here. You can clean it out, can hose it out, wash it, whatever you need to do. Works perfectly. You can even actually um, carry water in here if you need to. Just a little thing, but really, really nice. I've really enjoyed it on this trip. Okay, I decided to do two more things. And there's another one I also realized. So first up, we'll start with this. This is from Easy On. This is their little three-in-one table, stool, step. I don't know, it's everything. Super lightweight, super, super strong. I mean, super strong. It's very simple. That just hooks there and you've now got a little platform. You can stand on this to get access to your rooftop tent. You can sit on this to put your boots on or if you're sitting around the fire, you can use it as a little side table. When I was in the caravan, I'd put this next to the door and I'd put my cup of coffee and stuff on there in the morning. Amazingly versatile. Really, I think everybody's setup should have this and it fits anyway because it's so small. So I've really, really enjoyed this. It's, it's hung around with us on this trip. We've used it every single day. And there were actually times, you know those front runner chairs that I use? Those, we actually barely used those. We would end up using this for a quick chair and then what I would do, because now obviously in the Hilux I've got quite a lot more space. This is Easy Orn's chair and it is amazingly comfortable, super easy to set up. Let me do a little maneuver here. I'll swap chairs quick. Actually haven't been enjoying that chair. So this is what I'll sit on at camp and it has been really comfy. It's a good angle. It actually almost works. It's like a nice loungy chair, but then it's also like a nice kind of lean forward chair and sits around the campfire or do some stuff. So I found this, this has been my office chair when I've been working on the caravan, editing videos and stuff while we've been on the trip. Um, it's actually worked really, really nicely. There's some new additions to the setup and love it, love it. It's not too big that it takes up a massive amount of space in the back. It's never gotten in the way of things. Everything's just kind of fitted and worked perfectly the whole time. So yeah, I must say, those have kind of really surprised me in, you know, well, they haven't surprised me. They've just been really nice to have. Another little shout out is to the Garmin, my little Instinct Solar. We've been doing a lot of activities. We've been doing a lot of stuff. We've been busy. And I think I've only had to charge this once on this trip and it just keeps going just keeps going. So it's been really nice. You know, we go out, we're cycling for two hours, we're hiking for two, three, four, five, ten 10 hours, you know, and it just keeps going the whole time, charging up via the sun, you know, so it's just really does um, give a bit more longevity to the battery life. And it's been, it's been really awesome. It really has been. So I love being able to track all my stuff and look at everything while I'm going. And I'm a real nerd and I, I dig having my GPS. I dig having the satellite communicator and having all the stats and tracking on the watch as well. So it is one of those things like I enjoy my gadgets when I'm on my trips. I, I enjoy opportunities where I get to use my smart charger. It's not the most fun thing. And that's the whole, like I enjoy using my backpack and putting all the trekking poles and all the things in there. I run around the campsite with a Jackery and I've got my solar panels and I'm watching the wattage and I'm seeing what they're generating. I'm seeing the amperage being generated on the, the National Lunar Green Box with the solar panel. So there's a lot of things like that. I'm, I'm very busy all day when I'm on these trips and I'm playing with all the gadgets and I'm checking everything out. I'm testing and reviewing and doing all these things. So when I sit down and I talk to you guys about them that I give you good information and then when I'm like, this thing is really awesome, I love it, that you know you can go out there and buy it and you're gonna be absolutely satisfied with it. That's really the main point of looking at some of these things here is just giving you a bit of feedback on how it's been over the past 14 days of traveling and being on the road every single day and using all the stuff. And yeah, anyways, I'll keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and checking out this video and I hope to see you on next week's episode. Anyways, please remember to like, subscribe and comment down below and I'll check you guys next week. Cheers!